Uh, we're a love couple. Oh my gosh. A love and, couple. Uh, a, love couple. And a love couple. I don't know what you can. Good morning, Marbleheads. This is Kathy from the present, and you're going to see a quick video. Well, it's not quick. A video of us reviewing Gardens of the Galaxy. I know, we are going real in the past. But uh, we taped this before our move, before um, just all the stuff that's been going on before time surgery, all this kind of stuff. So uh, here's a video, enjoy, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Hey everybody, how's it going today? <laughs> if you don't already know, my name is Kathy. My name is Tom. And we are the Marvelous Donahue. Yes, we are. And uh, we have a special treat for you today. What special treat? A special, well, we're kind of a special treat today. We are. We're a love couple. Oh my gosh. A love and, couple. Uh, a, love couple. And a love couple. I don't know where you get this from. Um, this is actually going to be a review of the last Gardens of the Galaxy movie. Oh, I'm sad. <sighs> I'm, I'm happy, but mm -hmm. I'm actually, as I told people on Instagram, if you're not on our Instagram, mm -hmm. we're the Marvelous Donahue's, Marvelous Donahue's uh, at Instagram. Yeah. So yeah. check us out there. But as I said to people uh, that I was conversing with, uh, I said, you know, I was happy, mm -hmm. but sad because it's over. Yes, it or is over. <laughs> is it over? We're not going to tell you. You have to watch the movie. And you do. just to give you a preview, the. Um, the Disney Plus will mm -hmm. launch the uh, uh, Volume 3, Brains of the Galaxy, in August. Yeah. So if you are waiting to watch it on Disney Plus, uh, it is worth it. It you is You guys, worth it. it was so good. We are not going to give away too no, much. No. We're just going to talk about uh, some of the themes of the movie. Mm -hmm. And um, guess what? I'm talking. I'll start it off. Okay. Um. I just, you guys, it's always heartfelt. I love the yeah. Christmas movie, too. The, oh. the Christmas special. If you haven't seen that with Kevin Bacon, you can play the Kevin Bacon game very easily uh -huh. with uh, Chris Pratt. Yes, it is joy. If you don't know that Kevin Bacon game, um, it is connecting actors or actresses to Kevin Bacon. Let's give him an example right quick. Okay, I know we going off script, but just a little bit, right? Well, I, I'll pick an easy one. How about uh, oh, gee whiz, Tom Cruise and Kevin Bacon? Tom Cruise. Oh my gosh. That's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For me it is. So Tom Cruise. Let me try. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise and Kevin Bacon. And you got to find a movie that they're both in yes. together. Well, no, or they, that you can connect them yeah, with the actors that, and actresses back to back to Kevin them. Bacon. That's yeah. the way it goes. Tom Cruise and Kevin Bacon. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me think about his Mission Impossible movies. Maybe I'll say Tom Cruise, Jeremy Rayner, uh, Jeremy Rayner to um uh um. I don't know, the girl that Jeremy Rayner was at Tom Cruise's old wife, then Kevin Bacon and Footloose. I don't know. Okay. I don't know I'll, if I'll that's give, right. I'll give you, give you me give you <laughs> No, no, you do it. I'll give no, you, you said you knew the Tom I'll, Cruise I'll give one. You, yeah, yeah, so, no, so, do the so, Tom Cruise one. Yeah, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise to Kevin Bacon and A Few Good Men. <laughs> I told you I'd pick an easy one. <laughs> Come on. It's great. Try it at home. What? And, 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 and let us know how. I forgot he was one of the lawyers in there. Because you can't handle the truth. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Let's go back to the guys at the Galaxy. That was a, that was a reference to a good, few good men, in case you didn't see that oh, movie. Oh, gee. Anyway. He got me with that one. But it was really heartfelt, you guys. It was. Gardens of the Galaxy was so good. Yeah. I just, like, the whole thing was more about them reconnecting yeah. and finding themselves but also kind of um like finding their life outside of each other mm -hmm. you know through a tragedy 
Yeah, because I felt I felt like at the beginning of the movie, and we're not going to go through the whole movie, but mm-hmm. what what I felt like, I felt like there was some uh, lack of purpose for mm-hmm. some of the characters. They yes. didn't really know what they were going to be doing, especially Chris Pratt character. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Star Lord didn't really have a, a, a goal, a dream, right. but something. Right. And then um, because he was heartbroken you know, about Gamora, um, Gamora yeah. you know, because he still loved Gamora. Yeah. He's uh, knowing that there was a Gamora out there, right. but the that didn't love him was was heartbreaking and hard for him Mm -hmm. and it since he was the leader without him having a purpose they didn't have a purpose either they were all living on um a planet and um it it was just chaos you know it It was was just chaos. chaos it was chaos and nothing chaos and nothing and um you know, it, it just the entire movie, you guys, was just so, it was just so good. Yeah. They rallied around a purpose. And I'll tell you guys this part. It was about um, saving, uh, what is his Rocket. name? Rocket. And the way that they told Rocket's story and interweaved it into um, just his history, yeah. it was so good and you understand and you're thinking how could I have you know emotions or cry or something for this made up character Mm -hmm. is because they had done such a good job um letting you get to know him I would say if Bradley Cooper doesn't win some kind of Oscar for his performance as Rocket and and, and if we go back and kind of do a rewind back to the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie Mm. I wasn't really too high on Guardians of the Galaxy before I saw it I was like What's up with the raccoon? Yeah, and I was like, you know, I told him, I was like, Tom, you're going to mm-hmm. like it. Sorry, you guys, I hate the platform. I was like, you are going to love yeah. this movie. You will love the movie. And, you know, it, it, they, they get kind of uh, awakened mm-hmm. with a purpose because right. if you remember the first movie, there was Aisha mm-hmm. uh, on the planet where they kind of oh, yeah. took some stuff and mm-hmm. then they're like, oh, I'm going to come get you, Guardians mm-hmm. of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. So who shows up? Who is actually kind of a new character? I've right. never seen Adam Warlock. Yeah, it's it's um, you talk about Aisha's son. Yeah, his son. Yes, he son. shows up. Um, her son to wreak havoc. Yeah, to wreak havoc, and there's this back and forth. Um, and then someone else shows up. Um, what was his name? Oh, the High Evolutionary. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who? So there are a couple, a couple yeah. main enemies yeah. here. Yeah. And I don't know if the high evolution was that evolutionary, but he he was wreaking havoc. He was. And you know what? Most of the time, you guys, I don't like when there's too many villains and too many storylines. I'm just going to be real with you. I I just don't like it. I feel like it's overkill. I feel like sometimes when you do that, there's too much action. And there is a such thing as too much action. And I thought this movie had enough storylines and not too many a lot of action right just enough to keep you on the edge of your seat mm-hmm. and um the villains were excellent what yeah. did you think tom i thought uh, well i'll tell you what i liked i like the action of course we always love the action mm-hmm. all the characters were back even even uh, gamora you yeah. can say that mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. cinematography great mm-hmm. um all the characters work together. They're yeah. a family, and you can feel that throughout the whole movie. Yes. And you do need some Kleenex a little bit mm-hmm. because there are some emotional parts, especially at the end. Right. Um, I think what I, I thought, that the only downsides I felt, I felt like the movie might have been, and we, we may disagree on this, but I think it might have been a little too long. Yeah. Just a little too long. Yeah. I think some of the jokes, I think they were, I think there was a little bit of a flat flatness and some of the jokiness mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I think they try to rekindle the stuff from one and the, the ones from two a little mm-hmm. bit mm-hmm. but I think that that's what I what I saw but Rocket's story was compelling yes it I was. felt like I really didn't know him before mm-hmm. this movie right so right. and I I learned 
a lot about his situation. Mm -hmm. Also through the villain, you know. Yeah. I'll talk about the villain for just one moment. We had a few villains. Right. We had Aisha and her son. And then we had, what was his the name? High Evolutionary. The High Evolutionary, who was spectacular. And that's that one guy, right? Was it him again? No, no, you mean you're thinking Jonathan Major? Right, who was it this um, time? I'll have to find that out. We'll, yeah, we'll sorry that, about we'll that. We'll put that down below. Yeah, yeah. But he but, was a creator oh of Oh, my God. He was a creator of Rocket. He was, and he was insane, okay? Just crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he kept us on our toes. He did. And it, it was a way of having a person or a villain be in the story. And the story be about the villain but not really you know when we talked about rocket we saw the villain because right, he right. was the creator of mm -hmm, rocket mm -hmm. but it was just the way the story of rocket was told when he was younger it was just so cute and so terrifying at the same time when you watch it you'll know what i mean chat with us about it and please do let us know let us know how the high evolutionary stacks up on yeah. uh, uh, Marvel villains. You know, we haven't asked that question. Yes, who is your great one. Who is your favorite uh, Marvel hero? Yes. And who is your favorite uh, Marvel villain? Mm, that's a good one. That is a good one. But the high evolutionary, much like many of the themes in Marvel, are somebody's bent on trying to have the solution to mm -hmm. the world's problems mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the world uh, the world's problems... Uh, solution to them is always either getting rid of people yes. or or I'm going to make a better, uh, more more effective uh, mouse trap or mm -hmm. bird cage or, or whatever world. or world mm -hmm. to to to. But it doesn't turn out like that. It never turns it out never that turns way. Like that. If you are a villain, listen up. You get you, you get what you get. You know what? Listen, listen, listen. You know what I just thought of? Oh my gosh. I don't know if we're going to have time to do this, and we will not promise, but we want to do this. I just thought of it. I'm saying we because I just thought of it. <laughs> My thing is, why don't we do um, a video about a countdown to... Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to say it because I don't want nobody stealing my idea. You'll see it when you Count see it. Countdown to dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yes. But anyway, I'm not going to say we're it. Gonna do that. But we're going to finish up. Listen, I ain't had nobody steal my idea because we're going to do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we love you guys. We want to keep the suspense. Yes. Look, I'm, hold on. I'm whispering. Here. Oh, you know what? Okay. <laughs> Isn't that a great idea? I like that idea. We're going to tell you later, you yeah. know. I'll just, I had to get it out because you don't know. But listen, you guys, we're not going to hold you. No, we're not. We love this movie. Yeah, we, we give it, um, you know what? We are going to start. I got to figure out how to do that. I was watching um, Vivian. If you aren't watching Vivian, uh, Vivian tries, you know, she is great. And she always gives like, I'm going to give this so-and-so stars, right? And we're not going to take her stars, but we she will do something. Head. She does little heads. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? We might do some Marvel M's, right? Out of uh, five out of five, I give this five Marvel M's. What about you, oh, Tom? Okay. I'm going to give it because of the the length of the movie. I thought it could have been a little bit shorter. I'm going to give it four and a half. M's. Okay. Mm, four so and a half we're gonna M's. we're gonna think of a logo. Yeah. To do for yeah. like M's. Yeah. Or yeah. Marvel like M's. Maybe, I maybe know. we'll have uh, five Kathy, Kathy and Tommy heads. Yeah. Tom heads. <laughs> Look, we've got cartoons, folks. We, we got them. We can do. We got jokes too. <laughs> Not today, though. Not today. But you guys, thank you for watching. And listen, we're going to get back on this. I've kind of found a rhythm with my um, job. So we're going to do every other week. Right. When once a month, we'll do um, the Marvelous Donahue um, uh, Life. We've got some things coming up. Right. If you don't already know, I wrote a book. Go over to Kathy's uh, Book Club. Uh, 2022. Or go to Amazon yes. and just type Kathy Donahue in there. Yes, yes. And then search for that and yeah. you'll find her social work book. Mm -hmm. Join. Join me over on the other channel too because I'm going to be um, I haven't done it. I'm sorry you guys get my life together. But I'm going to start today and I'm going to videotape 
um, just talking a little bit about my book and why I wrote it and how I think it can help anyone pass any test, okay? And it, it can. That's all. That's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, my name is Kathy. My name is Tom. And we are the Marvelous Donna Hughes. And we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.